How can discovering the type of learner you are help you improve your English? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Hey guys, Teacher Creeks here to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Here on this channel, I help people from all over the world improve their English skills and become more confident speakers. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. But here we go. Learning English is a work in progress. Once you get started, there is always something new for you to learn. But in order to have good results, it's important that you understand what type of learner you are. When you understand how you learn, it gets easier to study English. Why? Because you will focus on your strengths rather than your weaknesses. You will focus on exercises that highlight the best of you, not the other way around. So today, I'll be showing you four types of learners and the best study tips. Number one, visual learners. The visual learner loves images, diagrams. Whatever they see, they learn. They remember things that are written down. These learners visualize the relationship, the connection between things. Best study tips? Create mind maps. What is a mind map? Mind maps are charts that will help you visualize things more easily. This, for example, is a basic mind map of a kitchen. Number two, auditory learners. They are great listeners. These people really learn more when they listen to the information. Listening is what will make these people learn. Best study tips? Record the lectures you attend so you can play them back and listen to them as many times as you can. Another thing you can do is you can read and record yourself reading texts and explanations and listen to them as many times as you can. Another thing you can do is Create songs and rhymes that will help you learn new information. Here on YouTube, you can find many videos like this with parodies, songs that will help you remember information. Number three, kinesthetic learner. Hmm. These learners tend to remember things when there is interaction, uh, things that involve movement, physical interaction, experience, such as touching, moving around, role-playing. Go around the city you live in and try to explore the city and interact with it and find ways to insert English in this experience. Best study tips? Learn by experience. I sometimes go to the park and I try to look around and find things that will help me think of English, think of the language. So, I interact with the experience and try to bring English to it. So, for example, if you are going to a zoo, you can point at the animals and try to remember them in English. You can even create stories about this experience as you walk around the zoo. If you are learning food in English, go online, research a simple recipe in English and try to cook it. Follow the instructions in English and prepare this delicious recipe by using English and having fun. Get physical. And number four, read and write learners. Pretty obvious, right? These learners tend to learn more easily when they write and or read information. The more these people read and write, the more easily they learn new information. Best study tips? Hmm, you should read and write as much as possible. So, if you needed to write some new information three, four, five times, go for it because that's how you are going to memorize and learn. You can turn the mind maps, remember the mind maps? Into writing, into texts. Another thing you can do is quizzes. Do online quizzes that require you to write the answers or to type the answers. And finally, you can also take as many notes as possible when you are learning new information. So, during a lecture, during a class, take notes, lots of notes if you are this kind of learner. 
all in all, guys, identifying the type of learner you are will help you define what kind of strategy you should follow in order to learn English more effectively and faster. There you go. These are the four types of learners and the best study tips. Now I have a question for you. What type of learner are you? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!